Hey guys, it's Ami and more. I'm going to show you how to crochet this devil fruit Ami Gurumi. It's inspired from One Piece anime. And here's a dog I dressed up as Luffy. One Piece lore says if you eat the fruit, you will get stretchy powers. The design looks complicated, but it's actually very simple. You start off with a spear and then the stems. And then you crochet a bunch of chains that you make into S curves. And then you go ahead and pin it on the fruit base. And once you sew it all on, you have your finished Devil Fruit Amigurumi. You can find a free written pattern on my blog amiamore.com. And don't forget to subscribe to get all the latest tutorials. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. You'll need purple colored yarn and worsted weight acrylic yarn. Also, light green yarn in worsted raid acrylic. A 4.0 millimeter size crochet hook. Scissors. Yarn needle. And a stitch marker. I just like to use a bobby pin. You'll also need some polyfill stuffing. You'll also need some pins. For the fruit base with purple yarn, you're going to make a slip knot. You're going to insert your hook underneath the yarn and continue to pull out until you have a knot. And now we are going to chain two. So you're going to grab the yarn with your pinky and then with your index finger and grab the tail end and chain two. That's one and two and then into the first chain we're going to do six single crochet insert your hook yarn over come back out that's one and here is two and three four five and six single crochet stitches. We're going to close it tight and then put our stitch marker into our last stitch made. So for round two, we're going to ignore that first section there and it's going to be two in each stitch all the way around and you should have 12 stitches at the end. So in our first stitch right there, we're going to do two. So that's one. And then into the same stitch, that's two single crochet stitches. Next stitch, we are also going to do one. And into the same stitch, two. And then we are also going to do one and two. And then we are going to do one and two and then one and two and into our very last stitch we are also going to do one and two single crochet stitches we're going to put our stitch marker back and then when we count our stitches it's one two three four 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 single crochet stitches. For round 3, our pattern is 2, 1, 2, 1. Repeat the pattern all the way around and you will have 18 single crochet stitches. So it's going to be 1 single crochet stitch and in the same stitch we are going to do 2 and then just 1 in our next stitch. So here is one, and then two, one again. So that's going to be one, and two, and then one. And then continue to repeat the pattern all the way around, and you should have 18 single crochet stitches at the end. Round four, our pattern is two. One, one, two, one, one, and repeat the pattern around, and you'll have 24 single crochet stitches. So this is one and two, 
and then one and one. Repeat again, it's two, one, one. That's one and two and one and one. Continue to repeat the pattern all the way around and at the end you should have 24 single crochet stitches. Now for round 5, our pattern is going to be 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1. Continue to repeat around and you'll have 30 single crochet stitches. So that is 1 and 2 and then 1 one and one. Repeat again, it's two, one, one, one. That is one and two and one, one and one. Continue to repeat the pattern around and you'll have 30 single crochet stitches at the end. Now for round 6 through 10, we are going to stay at 30, so it's just one single crochet stitch, each stitch around. So we're just going to do one, and then our next one, one also. And then you will continue to go all the way around until the end of round 10. And here's how it looks like at the end of round 10. If we count our rounds, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. For round 11, our pattern is a decrease and then single crochet in the next 3 stitches. So here is our pattern. We are going to do a decrease and then 3 single crochet stitches. So that's 1 two and three and repeat the pattern again a decrease and then single crochet in the next three so here is my decrease and then one two and three and continue to repeat the pattern around at the end you should have 24 single crochet stitches for round 12, our pattern is a decrease and then single crochet in our next two and repeat all the way around. So here is our pattern. Here is a single crochet decrease. And then we are going to do one and two. Repeat the pattern again. We're going to do a decrease and then one and two and continue the pattern around and you'll have 18 single crochet stitches at the end. For round 13, our pattern is a decrease and then single crochet, decrease, single crochet, repeat around and you will have 12 single crochet stitches. So here is our first decrease and then one single crochet stitch and then decrease again and then single crochet stitch repeat all the way around and you will have 12 single crochet stitches now at this point you will stuff with the polyfill so go ahead and stuff your fruit base for round 14, we are going to decrease all the way around and we'll have six single crochet stitches at the end. So we are going to do a decrease. Here is our first decrease and then a decrease again and continue to go all the way around. And when you get to the last decrease, you're going to cut off a long tail and fasten off. So now we can use our yarn needle and we can sew it closed. So go ahead and use your yarn needle to go through the stitches to close up your circle.
and here is our fruit base completed. So now we're going to make the S curves for the dragon fruit. So we'll want to make 16 of these more or less. So we're going to go ahead and make a slip knot and we are going to grab the yarn by making a pinky and then we're going to grab the tail end and then we are going to chain 21. So that is one, two, three, four, five. And here's the last stitch of our chain 21. And now we are going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. So we're going to go back one chain and insert hook. And we are going to do a slip stitch. And we are going to continue to do a slip stitch all the way across. So at the end, you will have 20 slip stitches. And this is how it should look like at the end. And then go ahead and cut off the long tail and fasten off. And then using this chain, we can make an S shape. So you, now you'll want to make 16. You can make more or less depending on how many you need. With green yarn, you're going to wrap the yarn around your two index fingers and then with your crochet hook, go underneath the yarn and then pull it out to make a slip knot. Now for row one, you are going to chain seven. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we are going to slip stitch all the way back. And then we are going to have six slip stitches at the very end. So go ahead and keep working your stitches all the way to the end of the chain. And then for row two, you are going to chain one and turn. And then we're going to slip stitch across. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we are going to cut off a long tail and fasten off. And then you are going to fold it in half. And then we are going to sew it in place with a yarn needle. So go ahead and sew it close all the way around on all the ends. Now for the upper stem, we are going to go ahead and chain 16. So go ahead and do 16 chains. So here is our 16 chains. And now we are going to slip stitch back one. And then we're going to do two single crochet in our next two stitches. So that is one. And then in the same stitch, two single crochet stitches, and then two in our next again. So that's one and two single crochet stitches. And then we are going to slip stitch all the way across again. So go ahead and do your slip stitch all the way across. And then when we get to our very last stitch, we are going to cut a long tail and fasten off. And here is how our upper stem looks like. So now we want to make two. So go ahead and repeat the pattern again. And then once you have your two, we are going to place them on each other. And then we are going to sew it into place. So we're going to take our yarn needle and sew it all the way around. So the two pieces become one piece.
here is our upper stem completed. And here is our finished crochet devil fruit. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.